Hi, welcome to Free Range Homes. What we have here is the Skyline 24. We'll start on this bottom end right here with these with these bay windows. We have a sleeper here. As you can see, all the storage underneath. You uh, come over here and there's some more, we won't call it hidden storage, but we'll call it hidden storage. <laughs> <laughs> the sofa area is great. You can fit a lot of people here. As you move along through the trailer, you'll notice the light colors, all the windows, how airy and, and, and spacious the, 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 the home is. So you have the full-size sink that you can actually wash dishes in. This has a butcher block that goes on top of it, which when it comes off, you can set here. It acts as a cutting board, you know, just different things that can be used for. Plenty of space, cabinetry, drawers. You have drawers, you have a four-drawer bank here. You have the full cabinets underneath the sinks, correct? You have another extra with another drawer here. Um, as you can see, you have plenty of counter space for coffee pots, a few little decorations, things that are nice. You have the little uh, area to put your put your your uh, your dog treats. <laughs> we all love animals. You have a, 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 a four burner stove, along with a full size refrigerator, so it's not like a mini fridge by any means. Full built-ins with the TV, the TV which fully swivels for viewing capabilities throughout the home. You can do it all the way up to, you can swivel the other direction. You can also watch it from the, from the bed area if you lay on the corners. So it's perfect, well thought out, well designed. So we also have these tables. So the table comes out of the wall, and the table folds up. Folds up, scoots back to the to, to that area where it become a kitchen table that that can sit six very comfortably. Hey Max, how you like your first tiny house tour? <laughs> uh, you like it? He likes it. So let's move into the extra room. In this room you have a bed. There's a sliding barn type door. Okay, to, to help increase on space. You don't have to deal with door swing. This bed does a number of things. We have a bunk design for it, so it can be a bunk bed setup. You can remove the mattress and put washer and dryer on top of this. Underneath it, it is designed to hold a battery bank. So if you do want to go off-grid and full solar, you can. I really love how they put a guest room in here. It's pretty cool. I, th I think it's the first tiny house I've seen with a guest room. I could definitely sleep in here. So we move on to the loft area. The loft area is approximately 120 square feet. It holds a full queen size bed. It has three and a half foot of headroom from floor to ceiling, which is plenty to sit up in your bed and not, not bump your forehead. This tiny space up here is really a lot bigger than any of the other ones I've ever seen. We move down here to, to, to getting to the loft. It's a full slide out, it can be moved around, you can prop your feet on it, you can do whatever you'd like with it if you need it for space. It also acts, it acts as a step here, here, and here to go up the ladder to get to your loft. In these steps we have storage space. This is designed for probably dog food and I'll show you why. 
slide that in, pull out our dog bowls. So even the pets can live in the tiny home. We move on to some cabinet spaces under the stairwell. Some more cabinet spaces here. Underneath this, designed and, and, and hidden, is our electrical panel so you don't see it during your every day. So now we'll move on to the bathroom. The bathroom also has a full sliding barn door. It has a full size toilet, a nice vanity, which has a full bank of drawers, along with your vanity space. And you come to your shower. This is what we're really proud of. We put a lot of thought into this. The way the shower is mounted to remove some of the flex for the, so, the, so the tile doesn't crack and certain things like this. These whole walls are completely plastic coated. They're waterproofed all the way up so it's not like it's just a, a water uh, resistant panel of plywood. It is actually plastic coated. We've painted all this all the way up. Took the corrugated and put on it. It is a full-size stand-up rain shower, so you can you, you get in there and you actually have a, a, a full range of movement. It is not up against a wall or real close, so that way you can shower more comfortably. So as you guys can tell, uh, we have a very light, very airy, very roomy home. And what makes that home very light, very roomy, very airy are all of our windows. These all open, these are turnout crank windows. Right, so you have a lot of air flowing through the home. This is our hot water adjustment system. So we have a full 24 seven hot water. You have continuous hot water in this home. We have no hot water tank. First it saves space. You have two people taking a shower with a small tank, you'd run out of hot water. We do a continuous flow hot water so that doesn't happen. A tiny house with a tub, how cool is that? It's a 24 foot trailer, it's approximately 325 square feet. The trailer is going to go for about $58,900. This house was pretty cool. It was the first tiny house I've ever seen with a guest room. Yeah, exactly. We actually really like the layout of this house. It might be one of our favorites. The way that yeah. there's the big bay windows at the end. Uh, and it's right open when you walk light. in. Yeah, and there's actually space to have a big couch and a lot of people over because the table folds around the way that it does. And a guest mm. room or a baby room or there's a lot of options. Yeah, and the fact that they put the entrance on the side of the house yeah. really makes for a good comfy sofa area. We really enjoyed checking out this house and I hope you guys did too. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. In the comment maybe. Yeah, let us know what you guys think and if you have any idea of what kind of houses or apartments you guys would love us to feature in the future. As you guys know, we travel a lot and that is our lifestyle and that is why we decided to downsize. So the freedom and flexibility to go anywhere is also what makes it possible for us to maybe feature a house if you're in the States or anywhere in Europe. Asia might be a little more difficult, go there. <laughs> but let us know if you have a lead. Mm -hmm. Okay, see you guys next time. See you next time. Bye. Bye.